Hey guys, so we are updating our chicken run. So we have that run that attaches to the Nestera coop. It is specific to that particular Nestera coop that we have. So we want something, we wanted something that was bigger that we can get inside of. We ordered this from Amazon. Um, it's big, it's metal. I'll put a screenshot of what it looks like um, in the corner, but we ordered this so that we could get inside and interact with our chickens and have more space. And also because we want to expand our flock, we want to have more room um, in a run for all of the chickens that we're gonna have. So let me show you where this is going to go, and it's big. So it's 50 today, so it feels really, really nice out here. There's one of our little salmon girls, and the salmon's just started, well, one girl just started laying today. Hi, babies! I know, I forgot to open this up, back up for you girls. There you go! There you go! I just cleaned out their coop today, so, and I forgot to open that up, so they're, they were a little upset. Is somebody going to lay an egg? Is someone going to lay an egg? So the Americanas are laying. I don't know if all of them are, but we've been getting Americana eggs for two weeks and then our first salmon egg today and it's so exciting. Hi, are you gonna lay an egg? Are you gonna lay an egg? Hi, Eggy. Hi, Eggy. Hi, Margie. They're so cute. Um, so this is the run that goes with this specific Nestera coop. Um, I don't think that it fits on any of the others from the last I checked. So this is the area that we are going to make the chicken area and in order to do that we have to take some things out. So we have this rock border here that goes all the way up this way and then it has all of this rock and stone right here. So we bought a large run, so we're gonna have to move all of the stone probably back to about here, and then the rest of this will be the coop, or the run, the new run. And it is, it's metal, and we're gonna have to do some major alterations to it to make sure that, um, it stays safe for the girls. So this tree right here, we found a few days ago that it was rotted, so this has to come out. Um, all of the rock has to be cleaned up. I've got several plants in here still that need to be moved around. There's a shrub here, ferns here, sedum here. There's a bunch of stuff in this bed that um, will have to be moved. And there's hookah in here that has to be moved. Um, so the new coop will come out probably to about this point with the door being here. And then it will take up all of this space. So it's nine by um, nine by 18. So it's really big. Um, we're gonna have to do a lot of work just making the space safe for the girls and then um, getting all of this rock out of the way. This is really good stone here, so we're definitely gonna reuse this in the garden someplace else, but this area will change. So the chicken coop will actually we'll keep that on the outside of the run um, so that I can still access the back for cleaning and then not have to go inside the run to actually collect eggs. Um, I still want to be able to um, come out, check for eggs, and go back in the house pretty easily and then clean the coop pretty easily without having to go inside of the run to do it. So that's all of this space right here is going to change. I hope it looks nice. Um, part of my issue is I don't want it to not fit in with the area that I live in. I want it to be pretty aesthetic to, um, you know, my street. So I don't want to have this big giant just 
crazy looking structure so I'm gonna do my best to make it fit in but it just might <laughs> it just might not I'm not sure we'll see So hopefully I'll be able to get it to look okay and not have any complaints from my neighbors or the city. Um, we live in a small town and um, they like things to look a certain way, which I learned about when we tried to get a fence put in two years ago and there were all these like rules and regulations with it. So um, needless to say, we did not put that fence in, <laughs> but I am gonna be working on um, some kind of fencing or privacy that does not require me to um, hire someone else to do it. Um, Cause this whole hedge here, this is a privet, and during the winter time, it, there's nothing on it. So we're kinda, we kinda feel like we're in a fishbowl um, during the winter time. So yeah, it's it's difficult because you know I want to work out here, but I've got my neighbors and everyone driving by looking, and I can be rather shy when it comes to um, filming in public and doing all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I would like some privacy. I was actually looking at buying some bamboo rolls to just do for this side here that faces the road and then um, yeah just to kind of close in this side um, also lots of noise here too all year round the only time it's really quiet here is at nighttime, and I love coming out at night and it's just so still. That's, that's one of the reasons why like our next stop, our next move is going to be um, as many acres as I can reasonably afford. That way, you know, we get our privacy, we can drive into town if we need anything, you know. Um, I, I have learned that as I get older, I want to be farther and farther away from society. Um, when I when I was like in my teens, you know, I, I want to live in New York. I want to live, you know, in a big city or live in, you know, California or just a big city pretty much. And I have gradually over the years like get me farther and farther away from people. Not that I don't like people, but I like... I like quiet and I like privacy so you know yeah that's what I want I want acres and I want I don't have to have a big house but just some land to really like to really like do some serious gardening and serious flower growing I want like a cut flower garden that like is like a mile long and veggies growing everywhere and like the perfect lighting you know with the stream and you know yeah big dreams um, the soonest we would ever be able to move here would be in um, at least five years um, gonna let the kids graduate high school and everything yeah that's a lot. So outside of the chicken coop that we're working on, the chicken run, we're working on that. I'm going to be sourcing stuff for a fence. And then I also have a new raised bed that I need to get set up. And I it's um, a veggio garden bed, so it's the metal bed. And I want to put it over here. I'll show you where. So this, all these stones are going to come out. And then I'm going to set up the veggio bed in this area somewhere. I also thought it might be nice to be able to have a tiny greenhouse here. I don't know. I might be asking for too much. I might be trying to do too much, but I, I plan to use every inch of this space um, as of this garden and push the limits as far as I possibly can while we're here in this house. So yeah so all this stone is coming up and being utilized someplace else i don't know where at this moment but then everything over here will probably come out as well because it'll just look weird and then probably redesign this whole space here so we'll have all of the chicken stuff here 
and then um, could potentially do a, a greenhouse there, this area, and then do another raised bed over there or do like greenhouse there, raised beds over here. I don't know. We'll see. I'll, a greenhouse costs more than I have right now, so it's just a, it's just the, uh, an idea at this point. Everything's looking like winter. I'm thinking of switching out these strawberries for new strawberries this year. We'll see how they perform. They did not give me a ton of berries this past year, so I'm thinking the plants are getting older. Um, so I might switch these out for new plants. These two beds I'm gonna get ready for spring um, sewing. I failed big time this fall with trying to do this and then the polar vortex um, in December did not help so everything in here is dead and it's pretty funky too so I'm gonna pull all this stuff out rejuvenate the soil add some more soil on top uh, once they get some soil in the garden centers because there's really not much right now and then I will start some seedlings inside and then I'll also start some things um, uh, from seed in here because I had really good success with it last spring and then up here is my cut flower space and I plan to sow some poppies um, out here really soon I probably could do it now but I need I want to have a specific spot for them so I don't have to dig them up and move them later but I think it'd be really pretty to have some poppies um, in this space there's Cashew hi Chachu hi mama Are you getting dirty? Don't get dirty, Cashew. She's just a precious girl. Hi. Hi. Oh my word, look at her. She's just a floof floof. She's just a floof floof. Yes, there is. Hi. Yes, she's such a pretty girl. You yes, sure is. <sighs> you wanna go inside, miss? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. So here's all the stuff for the new chicken run. We already put the base together and it's out there so I'm just gonna start putting it together it, it's pretty easy everything snaps in so you've got one end that looks like this that will snap into another end that looks like this or a piece like this so super easy um, this video is not gonna be perfect because I'm just building this out of just out of frustration so I just want to get it done so I'm just gonna set the camera up and just go to town and hope for the best
so we've got it all finished everything is hooked together there's still a lot that we need to do to make it like extremely secure I still have to get some hardware cloth for the front they're so happy so sweet doing really really good um, the other thing that I want to do in this coop is put in an area or build something where they can perch out here um, with the old run right there we were able to put bars across and they could roost throughout the day if they wanted to so I definitely want to do something like that for them but right now um, it's been it's been actually a couple weeks since that last clip and they're doing really good I mean I have no complaints about this setup none it's working really well for us we have a little bit of hardware cloth that goes around here and to the other side that's just what we had in the garage so I definitely have to go out and buy more to go around the front and that side so I'm really happy with the product itself um, the run does its job it gives the girls more space um, they are pretty secure um, I need to do more predator proofing of this space for sure but other than that like they're happy they've got so much more space we have been going in there with them we've been holding them playing with them feeding you know hand feeding them and they're just really they're really something I'll tell you that like we haven't been able to really interact <laughs> interact that's a, a salmon fat roll she's just hi babes hi babes what you doing what you doing what you doing Anyways, so the salmon fabrils have been very, are very vocal since they started laying eggs. They are so loud. Um, and I was not expecting chick, like the hens to be that loud, but they are like, just, they are extremely loud. We can hear them from the house. That's how loud they are, like inside the house. Like what is going on? But anyways, so that is it for this video i will link this run it, they have several different sizes so you if you want this you don't have to get one as big as um i have and then i'll link my nestera coop and run in this video as well in case anyone wants that but i'm super happy super happy with this run i got from amazon and i'm still very happy with my nestera coop and run um and I'm happy with my chickens. So <laughs> let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.